What's going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Sykes, LadySavage.com. Coming at you with another recipe video. This one is the cheeseburger spicy bacon casserole. Spicy bacon cheeseburger casserole. Spicy bacon cheeseburger <laughs> casserole. It's a tongue twister. Um, all right, we got some 90 10. 90 10. So the Two reason, pounds. usually when we do recipes, we usually choose like an 80 20, but I chose a 90 10 because it is going to go in a casserole. You don't want like a ton of juices just like overflowing in there. So, um, 90 10 two pounds of that one pound of bacon one pound of bacon i already already pre-cooked this and then crumbled it up one two, pound two pounds <laughs> two, cups two cups of cheese um i chose the pepper jack because um we're going spicy we have a half a cup of mayonnaise we are using the primal kitchen avocado based mayo um tomatoes this is not weighed out particularly it was just like we're gonna throw some tomatoes in there so whatever however many you want in there um you can also do if you don't want to do tomatoes you can do something like onions the or carb count's gonna be lower without the tomatoes yeah carb count's gonna be lower if you want to do like t um onions or anything else that you might like in here you can switch out the tomatoes for that jalapenos these are three jalapenos fresh. I just cut them up and they're good to go. Then we're gonna use some of this uh, hot sauce. It does not have to be this hot sauce. I just really like this one. It's um, avocado sauce habanero. Just seven ingredients. Sweet red bell pepper, onion, habanero, garlic, avocado oil, and lime juice. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really good. good. I really, really have liked it a lot. We're gonna use garlic powder, onion powder, and Redmond real salt. So. First things first, I have the oven on at 400 degrees, but we're gonna go ahead and cook the two pounds of ground beef in this cast iron skillet. <clears throat> and while Robert's cooking that, I'm going to mix the mayo with the hot sauce. This is what I make pretty much anytime we have like chicken, um, what else do we have this with? Oh, tacos, anything like that, that you really want something like like a spicy sauce. Um, this is how I make it. So I just mix in this mayo and then I do the hot sauce just as, as desired. Um, probably about, I'd say maybe three tablespoons or so. and just add in the seasoning. This is mostly cooked. Um, so that was the garlic powder. We'll do some onion powder. Should I drain this water first? Nah, we just keep it in there. Nah. Nah. Say Google. No. <laughs> Oop. Every time I smell onion powder, it reminds me of sour cream and onion and that like makes me want it immediately makes me hungry all right now okay we're... so we can go ahead and add in this um mayo mix into the meat let's go ahead and just turn that actually we'll just kill it turn it off turn so off. we can go ahead and add this into the meat because we, we do want it mixed well in there Sure. All right. Perfect. Mix that puppy up. I will grab this casserole dish. And you probably don't have to spray it, but I'm a weirdo and I'm afraid that if I don't spray things that it will stick. So going to spray it with this organic extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and pour this in. Yes, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and put the meat mixture in. Isn't that hot? I'm tough. Okay. 
And you can mix your bacon in beforehand, but I like my bacon crispy, and so I don't really want it soaking in there. Okay, so we'll do, um, we'll add in the tomatoes and the peppers. Um, you don't know we need to flat mix. We're gonna mix this in there. Oh. You can't tell it on YouTube right now, but our dog is whining <laughs> like crazy right now. That's why we're smiling. <laughs> Are we gonna mix in the cheese too or just layer that on top? Um, we're gonna mix a little bit. We're gonna mix about half of the cheese in the mix and then we're gonna put layer it the rest on the top with the bacon. This is looking mighty colorful. I like it. Mighty colorful. We have to put him outside. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that we have mixed the tomatoes, the peppers, half of the cheese in there, we're gonna just layer in the um, bacon and cheese on top. So if you wanna do the cheese, I will do the bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Oops. What kind of cheese is this? Pepper Jack, you said? Yeah, Pepper Jack. Add to the spice. Mm. It looks mighty good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Bone appetite. And then we're putting this in the oven for. Yep. It, the, we're going to put it in the oven um, at 400 degrees. For about 15 minutes, the whole point of putting it in the oven is mostly just to get this to all melt together, kind of solidify so that we can take it out in with a spatula. So about 15 minutes, here we go. All Boom, right. Look at that. Look at that. How are you gonna cut it up? It smells so, mighty good. Yeah, it does smell really good. Um, so you, I would suggest waiting about five or 10 minutes probably <laughs> until you cut into it, um, to just let things like solidify a little bit, um, and get a little bit more solid so you can, ser you can serve it a little bit better into, um, pieces. But we hungry. We're hungry. Um, so we're just going to dive right in and you can, so this is a two quart, um, container. You can... Wow, Robert is really hungry. He is getting like three pieces in one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, anywho, um, this is a two quart. If you want it a little bit more, a little bit more thin, um, you can put it into a larger pan. But we we decided to go a little bit thicker. All right. Moment of truth. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything in here. A little bit of everything. So it doesn't look like a burger, but does it taste like a burger? Whoop! Yeah, get my tomato. I ain't got a lot of beef. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that a lot. Yeah, it tastes really good. <clears throat> this would be a good meal prep option. Yeah. Great meal prep option. Um, you can, excuse me, you can strain the, um, the juices from the, the beef, but I like to keep all the fat in there. It actually makes it more, um, juicy as well. Um, again, if we let it sit for a little bit longer, it would have solidified. Um, I can imagine that this is probably a good next day meal as well. Just like reheated. It's a good right now time meal too. This is really good, yo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've been on like a casserole kick lately. And this is my jam. That mayo dressing thing definitely comes through. It, it's like, makes the whole thing a little bit spicy, but also a little creamy as well, which I really like. And I like that the bacon's on top. Makes it nice and crispy. Um, yeah. So, we'll right. probably tell them where they can find this. I'm gonna eat the rest of this right now. So uh, if you're wanting to make them, a, if you want to make some of this yourself, 
For the full recipe, the macros, all that, check out ketosavage.com. Check out the recipe section. That's where this will be. Till next time, y'all. Take care. Toodaloo. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.